yeah. Um, you'll have to excuse me because um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this today. So I'm just going to sort of wing it a little bit. I don't know what it's going to taste like. I hope it's going to taste nice, obviously. Um, I've got one of these squashes here. So pretty. Look at that. How cute is that? It's too nice to cook really, isn't it? But I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to cook him. So I've got my oven on. I'm going to get a big knife. Um, I've got a load of other stuff here that's hanging about that needs eating. What are you shaking at? Right, so I'm going to cut the top off this butternut squash somehow. I hope. Oh, oh, <laughs> mind your fingers. Oh, God. He's a tough one. Wow. Stop shaking your head. It's a dog. What are you shaking your head for? God. Maybe I should film this. Health and safety. It's not very health and safety, is it? Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> Maybe I should just keep it as an ornament. <laughs> seeds in it. Is there? Must be. Must be something in here. God. Well it is that time of season isn't it? It's nearly pumpkin time. Oh here we go. Here's all the gibbons. Right. So I need a smaller knife I do believe. Let's get a smaller knife. Uh, there we go. So, I've got my oven on 200. I'm going to attempt to hurl my squash, which I got from Lidl's, for £1.9p. So, once you've sort of made a bit of a an entrance, you can then get in to start taking out all those pips. Now you want to, <laughs> you want to keep your lid, all right? So I'm putting my lid on the tray. So I'm being a bit noisy, aren't I? I'm just going to get a bit of kitchen towel and a spoon. And I'm going to scrape out the rest of these pips into my kitchen towel. I'll go to the hairdressers tomorrow. My hair is such a mess. I've been out this morning dog walking. It blew and rained. I think every day since I've moved here I've got wet. Walking the dog. Right. So I've emptied that out. I'm going to put that on my tray. But I'm going to put it that way down, so they're both like that, okay? I'm going to pop it in the oven on the bottom shelf at 200. So that's the bottom shelf at 200. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take to cook. I would say 40 minutes. So at 35, I'll have a quick look and um, see where we're going from there. So just going to get rid of this rubbish. I bought some um, buttonhole kale which also look really cute but it's been sat in my fridge for too long and it now doesn't look cute at all. <laughs> if I had a rabbit I'd give it to the rabbit but I don't have one so it's going to have to go in the bin. But I have managed to save the tiny little centre pieces it's pretty. So I shall use that. Oh, I just dropped a blooming leaf. So I've got that, which 
I'm going to shred. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't think I've really got my camera right at the moment in this kitchen. Right. So cut your little bits of kale up as best you can. onion that left over from last night so I'm just gonna chop that up with my kale and I've got my frying pan on and I've spray lighted it quite generously so once I've chopped this up I'm just gonna pop this on Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, that's the right one. And I've got to put my kale in and my onion. Just gonna slice up the rest of this onion. So that was just half an onion I'm using. And I've got a little bit of collie. Cut the stalks off. And I'm just gonna chop up some collie, pop that in. I've got a jacket potato that didn't get eaten last night. So I'm just gonna Scoop out the potato Give it a chop up And the other half going to put a couple of cloves of garlic in there but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to crush them oh sunshine sunshine Kimbo could be sunny when we were out walking could it no I'm conscious that you can't see Kimmy anymore in this kitchen I'll have to keep putting the camera down so you can see her. Right, so just chop up a little garlic. Pop that in. Oh, it smells nice. Then, I've got some of these Bavarian Bratwurts. I normally buy the big ones for Jace. They're really nice. So I'm not going to use many. I don't know what the sim value is of these, so you'll have to find that out yourself, I'm afraid. I'm only going to use two of the little monkeys. Um, per backwort is 75 calories. So 20, 40, 60, 70. It's about four and a half sins per little sausage. So this is for two people. So it's four and a half sins each. But I'm going to cut these up quite small. So I think this would be quite nice um, for Halloween, something like that. It's 
especially with Halloween coming up and squashes are so available at the moment and cheap so that's that give it a stir that's annoying I shut the door because I know the blooming alarm's going to go off otherwise. Oh, oh my God, there it is. As I said it, hang on. Oh, it's quiet. Look. Yeah. So sensitive. Poor old Kimmy, she's gone running out. <laughs> right. So my kale's gone a little bit like crispy seaweed. <laughs> Some salt and some pepper. And I'm going to put a little bit of paprika. Give it a stir, and I'm just going to cook that out for a little bit longer, and then I'll come back to you. I'm just going to make up some couscous. Um, I think you could probably use pasta if you wanted to, um, or rice. Um, but I'm going to use couscous. So I've got a red wine gravy thing, jelly. You know what I mean? Like there's no red gel red wine jelly, and I'm just going to add some boiling water to it and melt it down. And then I'm going to add my couscous to it and put a lid on that and let that um, evaporate all the water and soak up that nice um, jelly. There we go. And it's just plain couscous. and then I'll come back to you again. I've just got my squash out of the um, oven. I'm still trying to get grips with this blooming oven. So, it's, there's the lid. And it's been in about 40 minutes. Oh, it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, so that's lovely and cooked, yeah. Very nice. Yep, cracking. So, what I'm going to do is add some of my couscous. Oh, what am I doing? Um, to my mix that I've got in my frying pan, which is here. I'm just going to give that a mix round. And I'm going to crumble in a little bit of Danish blue that I've got left over. So, just a little bit. I'm not keen on this, so that much. Tiny bit. I'm just going to put that in directly in the base of our little pot. There we go. And I'm just going to pop my grill on if I can get it going. Because the oven appears to have stopped for some reason. I have no idea why. Hey ho. Right, so I'm going to spoon in the rest of this mixture. I know I'm not going to get it all in. Pack it down a bit. Ideally, you'd want two of these, really, wouldn't you? 
one each. I don't know if I could eat a whole one though. So that's taken up about half that mixture. So that four and a half that I originally said for those sausages, I would half that because I've got the other half in here. But you could have this on the side of your plate if you wanted. What's left. And then to that, I'm just going to get a little bit of normal cheese. Not much, like that. And I'm just going to put a little bit on top. Like so. And I'm going to get a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm just going to pour a little bit on top. There we go. A little bit of pepper. And then I'm going to put that under the grill for a minute. Once it's heated up, I will just remove that because I don't like going under the grill. There we go. So I'm going to pop him under the grill. And I'll come back. And there we have it. I've just popped the top on. And there we go. A lovely squash stuffed in time for Halloween. So I think anyone would really enjoy that. I'm going to have a little tuck in. I'm not going to tuck in from this because that's for tea tonight and I don't want to ruin it because it looks so nice. Um, so what I will do is I'll try um, some of this. So I've got my cauliflower, red onion, potato, a little bit of that sausage and some paprika and some salt and pepper and couscous with the red wine jelly it's very tasty nice very nice and i know what butternut squash tastes like it's really really filling and really tasty and really nice so there you have it a little halloween treat so give it a go see what your lot think i think jess is going to enjoy that we'll both enjoy that and um, I might do a jacket potato to go with it. And some home homemade coleslaw. That'd be quite nice. We could do anything with it. A bit of crispy bacon. A piece of chicken. You know, there's lots of things you can that will go with that. Give it a go. Give us a thumbs up. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.